there's an increase in that type of fraud. There is not an increase in that type of fraud. That was that was one event. That was an unfortunate one event that's an anomaly more than anything. Is that the way you see it? Yeah. yeah. You know, there's a, there were statistics that I read, okay, somewhere, some crime statistics in 1994. And it talks about. I cannot talk on when well, you, you're going to have to come up with facts. Because right, I, can't, I can't comment on something that's uh, conjecture. Hold on, hold on. Okay. The 94 precincts had in, an increase. Now, it wasn't a lot of people, but I want to say murders or homicides or whatever. Right. The, from last year, from 2009. Right. From 2008. Right. Went up. Is that okay, right? That's okay, that's true. Okay. So, how many were they? It was three. There and three I, I'll go over the three if you'd like. No, that's okay. There were three, and but it went up from how many the year before? One. From one. So that's two thirds, thirty, sixty-six. You're one hundred percent correct. Okay. But the, the right. three, I explained all three that are right. again anomalies. They're really not consistent with uh, okay. you know any kind of crime prevention or any, anything that the, we have. Jerry Bones, who who uh, came in, doesn't live here. His girlfriend doesn't live here. He came in, and it was an unfortunate incident that they ended up guaranteeing Jerry Bones, and they ended up. He's now, uh, you know, in the legal process. So then they had one where uh, it was some drug deal uh, gone bad on the Meek Avenue. They were driving by and they pulled over That's a dog right. uh, over on Meeker yes. Avenue. And the third event is being investigated by the detectives was at the, uh, uh, I believe, um, Manhattan Avenue where the gentleman expired uh, due to suffocation and, and the detectives were working on it. Okay. But those are, you know, you're talking about going down if you have only... One, if you have two, then to get a down. But I don't know one. what you, so you're I'm concerned. right. Yes. You're concerned right. about the uh, those I three mean, homicides. Yes. I mean, I'm okay, but I mean, you, what, you, I don't know how to. Uh, uh, all I can say to that, Jenny. all I can say is, again, this is not a violent demand, and I, I okay. gained a three. It's well, not like sure it'd be that. like, of course. Okay. But I mean, it's but I'm I'm giving you the right. if if we're on top of uh, on everything. But do we have uh, isolated incidents that, uh, you know, I I that do happen time to time that are not uh, general indicators of the command? Yes. Um, you know, um, a, a person uh, of Jerry Bowen's, who will go back to Jerry Bowen's, uh, coming into this neighborhood and, and killing his girlfriend, I mean, impossible to predict. Um, and, and, and really not consistent with what's going on with the neighborhood. And, and really, if, if your fear is uh, that, you know, Jerry Bowens is, uh, uh, that Jerry Bowens in this world, I would, he killed someone that was close to him. It was a, a crime of passion and it has nothing to do with uh, the common citizen out there. You know, I mean, again, and they, you know, he did do what he did and he got arrested. We caught him that night. He tried to flee and he was arrested that night. As far as the drug, uh, and, and again, I don't want to get into this because it's really not going to do the neighborhood any good for me to... Not, I don't want to say waste my time, but Brian, or your time. But. Well, it, it does. It's kind of but, you know, you talk about doing things in the neighborhood would be like crime prevention seminars. Get your guys out there. To, again, I mean, even though you get it once or twice, if you have to go out into the point and in Williamsburg and do, you know, maybe once a month. Not the, not no, we do. Things, we do do some. Seminars, you know. My crime prevention goes out. Uh, Clock watches. That's really not pushed. I know that you still have them. And the card things, whatever you want to call them, I don't know. Well, yeah. the watch program was right. open when it, the, the department, calls can yeah, right. the, the department <clears throat> got wind that some of the pr the people involved in the block watcher program, yeah. their identity wasn't being protected. Somehow mm -hmm. it was leaking out. So right now, that program is going. Oh, they're, okay. they're revamping okay. it, making right. sure that they cover all the ways that they can protect the person's oh. address. Okay. Or information. But that was out, and now you're looking for a way to to, to make it better okay. and then bring it back. Okay. So that would be nice. Yeah, it will. Yeah, so it that will would really help with the what you're saying, right. and it would help the people in the neighborhood, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that works. But that we were concerned about it because it was somehow it was leaking out, like you know, Bobby Brown I calls. I don't know my name. It doesn't matter. Okay. Really <laughs> well, but not everybody <laughs> wants that. You know. I just want to uh, uh, move f uh, forward. Yeah. The meeting really wasn't called to go over, uh, er like I said, I just briefly went over the crime statistics. It's really more for moving forward. If I thought that the homicides or the vehicular manslaughter had anything that would, you know, a viable interest to improve the neighborhood, there's nothing I can tell the neighborhood that, hey, you know, just watch this, uh, the stolen vehicle come. You understand what I'm saying? It's more of, this is more of a crime prevention. How can we, I mean, we had 844 
uh, felony index crimes last year. Out of those 844, three of those comments are a very small percentage, and almost like the public, as a, uh, me getting the message out to the public, you're not going to be able to prevent or help prevent those crimes. The other ones you can, and that's my message. With the homicides, I want to be on top of those. The detectives are going to be on top of those. They made arrests in, uh, in, in two of the three. And traffic things and bike problems and all that. Does that include quality of life things? Yes. Yeah, we, I, you know. we just went, uh, you're talking about like we, ha we just went out an operation, and that's one I'll bring up is with another quality of life issue is, and again, we'll go back to broken wi windows, is uh, these derelict bikes that they're, they leave on the uh, things. We just removed another 18 derelict bikes in neighborhood. We keep going on and, and getting these derelict bikes because they, they don't add to the neighborhood. It's a quality of life issue. No one wants to see uh, uh, a bike with uh, no wheel or rusted to the, uh, to the uh, core on their uh, neighborhood. So we do, so we, we're attacking all quality of life issues. Traffic problems, like the people are, yeah, truck, truck problems. We're, uh, we're, just to uh, cite a statistic, uh, we're, uh, we have, um, we have a summons that we write, and this is uh, off truck. If a truck is in violation of, uh, goes into the neighborhood and is trying to bypass, like the truck, if, and this, we'll, we'll get into this, if, if a truck is able to, uh, I'm deviating, I really didn't want to, this really is uh, for the newspapers, for the crime prevention, but uh, I'll answer the question. It, it, they have a summons that we write, it's for uh, off-truck, if the truck violates and goes off-truck route, we'll write the summons. We've been writing more summonses from 07 to 08, from 08 to 09, and then we're up this year around 09 to 10. Okay, so we'll continue to, uh, uh, you know, uh, I know the streets are small, and a lot of times these trucks try to squeeze by, and uh, again, I, I, I'm 100% uh, uh, the, the, the trucks are a viable uh, interest to the community, because that's how we get our food, and, uh, and a lot of our uh, goods, but uh, I want them to obey the traffic laws, and I know that they cause uh, 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 a good amount of our accidents, not trucks, but commercial vehicles, so uh, we're on top of that. When is the SNU team going to be back in action? The SNU team? We don't have a SNU team. Well, they, they, used, they used to be one that cooperated. We have uh, narcotics units that come in there. They never left. They're still here. They make the rest every week. They're uh, they're doing their uh, uh, drug enforcement at, at various drug locations throughout the precinct to uh, curtail the drug trade. Because I, I I know in North Green, we we are seeing rises in, in the amount of drugs there. Okay, and I'll I'll, I'll take I've that back that, to. I've said that a few times. I I know I'm not. Know and they'll do more opera. The thing is, they do uh, a good job. The comics, they make again. They they, they if uh, they do make a lot of drug arrests in this neighborhood, so they're combating a major problem throughout. You know, uh, I mean, drugs. I mean, you know, but uh, is there an increase uh, like that you're stating? Sometimes it may be just perception. I don't think uh, in, in our end we haven't seen a major increase in, in drug. Uh,